here today for Lawn Fawn and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a card to share with you all using the Really High Five stamp set as well as Butterfly Kisses once again. I love using these two stamp sets together because they're illustrated the same and they just work together really, really nicely. So I'm going to be pulling elements from both of these stamp sets. Along with those sets, I'm also going to be using a Birdie Told Me. This is a really old stamp set, but I love it. I love all of the different speech bubbles and I'm going to actually be creating my scenes inside of the speech bubbles today. I just kind of thought that that would be super fun to do and to have a little collage of them of on my card. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to start off by stamping out all of the speech bubbles that I want to use. Just because I want to make sure that I have them laid out first and know how they're going to be sitting on my project. And then I can stamp images that go inside accordingly. So I stamped out all five of the speech bubbles that come in the set. And these are actually the only five I'm going to use. I did stamp a ton more, but I decided to keep it pretty simple and not have them hanging over the edge or anything like that. So I ended up only using five of them. So here I am just laying them out on a piece of cardstock that is going to be the same size as my card base in the end. And once I sort of get a layout for them, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my images. So here I've got the Butterfly Kisses and the Really High Five stamp set, and I'm going to choose the images that I'm going to use. So from the Really High Five stamp set, I knew I really wanted to use this fox. So I decided to choose the fox with the balloon and he's going to go in the taller speech bubble. I then pulled in the butterfly kisses stamp set and I'm going to use the little bear from there and the bunny. I'm also going to pull in some butterflies and the clouds as well and just create a fun little scene um, inside of the speech bubbles. I did pull in quite a few little images as well just to help um, sort of fill up those speech bubbles a little bit more as well. And then I also decided I'm going to use a sentiment from that set as well a little bit later on. So once I've chosen all of the images that I'm going to use, I just pulled out another piece of white cardstock and I'm going to stamp them down on there and then color them in. So now that they are all stamped out on this white cardstock, I'm going to go ahead and use my Copic markers to color them in. Copic markers are my preferred way of coloring. They're just super simple and super easy to use. For the bear, I'm going to be using E47, E44, E43, and E41 for his main body. And then for his little tummy, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of E41 on that and the tail as well. And then just blend that out with a zero marker. I just really like the way that looked and it tied in that brown just a little bit more. Here I'm pulling in the colorless blender and blending that out. Then I'm using some grays for the bunny. I'm using W3, W1, W0, and W00. I'm doing the same thing for the belly and the tail on the bunny as well. Going back in with the W00 and blending it out with the zero marker as well. For the fox, I'm using some E markers. I'm using E09, E07, E97, and E95. The E07 and the E97 were a little bit hard to blend together as well as pulling in that E95, but I just went over the colors a few times to get them to blend really nicely together. And this also is quite a small image, so it's not too hard, but that color combination would probably be really hard for a larger area. Then I'm coloring in the balloon and I'm just using RV19, RV25, RV13 and RV10 for that. Then I'm pulling in some oranges, YR18, YR14, YR12 and YR00 for the butterfly and the flower. And then I also used some teals for the butterfly, for the smallest butterfly rather. And I'm using BG49, BG13, BG11 and BG10. I'm also using some blue violets for the remaining butterfly as well. I used some R20 for the cheeks and ears of the animals and also some B markers for the clouds. Once I went ahead and colored and cut all of those out, I just went ahead and laid them over each of the speech bubbles, how I envisioned it earlier to make sure that they all fit on there. And I really liked the way they were laid out. So this is how they're pretty much going to look when I'm finished. I am just going to add a couple more images in as well. Now to make them fit into the speech bubbles perfectly, I'm actually going to stamp over each of the images with the speech bubble. So I just inked up this round one here since I know that that cloud is going to go on the top right hand corner. I then just went ahead and cut around that black line with my scissors and lined it up and this is how it's going to look 
when they're all adhered together. You could just mask these off instead if you would like to and then just like cut in the insides and then stamp the images directly onto the speech bubble. But I really like there to be a lot of height and dimension to my cards and so I wanted to stamp them first, cut them out and then adhere them over top. So this did prove to be a little bit more difficult than what I was intending. But um, it worked in the end and it still looks really super cute. But just if you wanted it to be maybe a little bit easier, you could go with the masking route instead. So I'm just going to repeat the process over basically all of the images, mainly for like the larger images. So like the balloon, the animals and for the larger butterfly and the cloud. Um, the other ones, I just kind of used my scissors and cut a straight edge and just lined it up the best as I could. Um, you're not really going to notice anyway. I still think it looks pretty perfect anyways. So now that they are all cut out, I'm just using some foam tape and adhering all of these pieces into place. It's pretty easy to do. You just line up where they go and stick them down and no one will ever really know if they're not cut out perfectly or anything like that. I still think it looks pretty good and seamless. Once they are all adhered down, I'm just going to stamp out the sentiment. So I decided to just go for a really simple sending love sentiment since that can be used for lots of different occasions, I feel like. So I'm just going to stamp that down with some VersaFine Onyx black ink, but any black ink would work. I just wanted something really nice and dark. So that's what I'm using. I just stamped it down using it in acrylic block and then adhered the rest of the images over top just to finish those up. So now that all of my speech bubbles are all completed, I'm just gonna set them off to the side and I'm gonna work on my background. So I decided to just do a grassy hill background just to bring in a little bit more green since I love using green on my cards. But you could do like a cloudy border if you wanted to be a bit more subtle or something like that. Or just a colored piece of cardstock, whatever floats your boat. This is just what I wanted to do. So I'm using the brand new grassy hillside stencils and the life-changing brushes as well as some distress inks. I'm just using Twisted Citron and Mode Lawn and I'm just ink blending over the entire background. So I'm using all of the different stencils that come in the set and just moving them up to the top of the stencil piece just to look like it's all grassy hills which is really fun and then I'm just finishing off the top with a little bit of Twisted Citron. I end up cutting this a little bit smaller and cutting off a little bit of the top and bottom as well so it doesn't matter how the edges look I guess but um next up I'm going to adhere down my scene so here are all of the speech bubbles all ready to go I'm just going to line these back up and add foam tape on the back and adhere them down into place and once they're all adhered down it's time to stick this um card front onto a card base so I decided that I wanted a brown card base just to fit in with like the more like nature theme of the card. And I really love these stitched trails dies. And I do this quite often, but I love just embossing them into like my card bases and things just to give a little bit of extra added interest. So I'm just going to adhere these down onto this card base here, run it through a die cutting machine, and then I'm just going to adhere the entire panel on top, kind of over to the right hand side to give it a bit of a like off center look. So that finishes up my card for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I really love adding like little scenes into speech bubbles. I've done this before and I just really love how it turns out. I think it's super cute and just creates a really different style of card, which I love. So thank you so much for stopping by today. All of the supplies that I use will be listed down below and linked over at the blog. And I will catch you all next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.